Well, the present simple, I think, is a safe, kind of a safe bet, you know, because that's the one that we learn first, usually when we're studying a foreign language. The present simple, it's used for everything that's in general, long term, that doesn't change, uh, emotions, etc. Present simple, present continuous, I just say, is it temporary or is it long term? I drive to work, it's because I drive every day. Uh, I drive, it's because I have a driver's license and I know how to drive. Uh, and I'm driving, it's really right now. If it's temporary, it's uh, the present uh, continuous. If it's long-term activities or regular activities, then it's the present simple. For example, what is happening now? It's not raining. The wind is blowing hard. And if we're talking about something specific, then it's the continuous. So I'm driving, I'm speaking, or even something that's prepared for the future. I'm going to drive to Marseille next week. Show them how absurd it is when the person uses a present simple instead of a present continuous. Like, for example, I shut the door. Okay, I'll show them that I shut the door means that that's what you do continually. Like your whole life is spent shutting the door. And then they sort of realize that, no, this is not what I want to say. I say, it's right now that you're doing it. So, oh yes, I'm shutting the door. Present continuous is not used only for things happening right now or at the moment of speaking. That moment can be extended to a longer period of time. My car is out of order, so I'm taking a bus. Usually I don't take a bus, usually I drive. Right now, not, not at the moment of speaking, but it's this week, which is a longer period of time. Sometimes we use the future, whereas in France you'd use the present. Je prends un café, whereas in England we'd say I will have a coffee.